Actually, the entire purpose of asking that dua for iftikhara is that ya Allah give me which has khair in it for me. Now, khair has multiple implementations and that's what I swear to you, the other one. If a person is, last time as well, that if a person is saying that ya Allah cure me of this disease, cure me of this disease, ya Allah I want to be cured from this disease. And then Allah opens up a way and tells him that so-and-so is a doctor who will undertake you through so-and-so surgery and then you will be cured of it. You go through that surgery and that surgery is such a painful surgery. The recovery time for it is so painful that, you know, in going through that recovery, you say, I was born with this disease, I was born with this disease, I was But what you realize that after that five, six, seven, eight months of recovery period, which were extremely painful, you're fully cured. So when you're asking for khair, maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make you go through a cycle, which is for that moment in time is very painful but the eventual outcome of it is extremely khair and khair may be completely opposite to what you think is khair and therefore when you're going through that rejection of your idea of khair that sounds painful as well and hence why in the istikhara dua the last thing we say is ya Allah make me razi on it make my heart firm on it jo faisla aap kar rahe hain mujhe uski raza bhi ata kar de shaitan ko aake mujhe bekane mat de ke dekho tumne to khair maangi thi aur ho kya gaya tumhare sath mujhe us pe razi kar de